What you working on? <sighs> math. You? A really hard essay. Just math? What kind? Long division word problems. Well, just remember the algorithm, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Yeah, I know. Dad, mom, sis, bro. I learned it. And make sure you don't skip- Layla, what is with you? Sorry, I'm just stalling. I really don't want to write this essay. You love writing. What's up? It's the topic. Does the American dream still exist? I'm doing research to figure it out, and I found a ton of articles. But I'm not even sure what the American dream is. Don't they explain it in the articles? Kind of, but it's confusing. So many different opinions and not a lot of facts. Well, I can take a break from math. Let's go to the source. Type in American Dream. I wonder who we'll meet. Yeah, I wonder. Good idea. American Dream. This doesn't look like America at all. The phone says 1784. Yeah, I don't know where we are. Wow, American. Allons les dire, Monsieur Franklin. I think they were French. Are we in France? To learn about the American dream? Hello. I hear we have some American visitors here in Paris. France. I knew it. Hello, sir. Are you, um, Benjamin Franklin? Guilty as charged. What are you doing in France? I've been here for a few years now. I was chosen to be the first person to represent the United States of America to the outside world. Like an ambassador? Precisely. You two look lost. May I help you? I'm Layla, and my brother Leo and I are trying to learn about the American dream. But for some reason, our time machine brought us here. Hmm, that is interesting. And I think I'll be able to help. But first, time machine, you say? How fascinating. I invented the lightning rod and bifocal eyeglasses, but nothing as clever as a time machine. Oh, no, 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 Monsieur Franklin. Your inventions are very clever. Oh, thank you, ladies. You are too kind. No, 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 Mr. Franklin. It is you who are too kind. They love me around here. By the way, what's with your hat? Ah, oh, yes, my beaver hat. I don't wear this because I like it. I wear it because the French like that I wear it. I don't see anyone else wearing one. They like that you're different? You see, when I first arrived in France, I dressed as you two are now, with the clothes of a polite, fashionable Paris nobleman. However, I quickly learned it was better to dress as the French think of Americans because they are obsessed with our culture. Obsessed, Monsieur, Monsieur Franklin. Franklin! They like that I wear a plain suit, and they love me in beaver. Ooh la la, Monsieur, Monsieur Franklin! Franklin. Why are the French so interested in what's going on in the USA? Children, I'm not bragging when I say this, but the world is interested in what is going on in the USA. This is because we are trying something that is so different from everywhere else. America is the land of opportunity, a land where individual citizens determine the outcome of their lives. Here in France, if you are born a wealthy nobleman, you will die a wealthy nobleman. If you are born a poor peasant farmer, that is who you will be your entire life. Wait, here in France, people are stuck doing the same thing their entire lives? In most cases, yes. Especially for people who live in small towns or the countryside, which is most people. There is very little economic opportunity. And unless you are of noble birth, there is no political opportunity. French people don't vote for their government? They can't. Young man, at this time, people around the world are ruled by monarchs and nobles who live fantastic lives, and they don't want their comfort and luxuries to go away or even lessen. So they have set up systems of government and cultures which keeps people in their places and keeps them on top. I wouldn't like that at all. No, that would be terrible. It sounds selfish. It is very selfish of the monarchs and nobles to control everything. In the USA, we're trying what is called self-rule, where every citizen is free to build their lives how they want, and through hard work and with sound judgment, they can prosper. This is why so many Europeans are currently dreaming of America. And I predict that eventually ambitious people from all over the world will join them. So, is the American dream about moving to America? It definitely can involve moving to America, but the American dream is simply the desire to improve your life 
through your own invention and it can apply to American citizens too. Take me for instance. I was born in a middle class family in Boston, Massachusetts. I had a pleasant childhood and my father set me up with an apprenticeship with my older brother. I was on track to have a nice life as a small to medium level printer in New England, but that wasn't enough for me. I dreamed of bigger things and my American dream got me to Philadelphia at the age of 17. Did your dad help you? How about your brother? Neither. I was on my own. I made the choice to leave the security and comfort of home because I needed more freedom to achieve the heights that I wanted to reach. So you could have failed and with no one there to help you? This is true. The American dream does not promise security and it does not promise success. It promises freedom. Our young country only gives people the right to pursue happiness. You must achieve it yourself. The American dream requires bravery. You are very brave, Monsieur Franklin. So brave! Oh, ladies, I'm blushing. I think I know what the American dream is now. If you dream of a better life and have courage to make it happen, then America is the place to be. Ooh, that was good. It is a shame that we get old too soon and wise too late. But you, young lady, have youthful wisdom. Well, you're a good teacher, Mr. Franklin. Monsieur Franklin is a great teacher. Are you happy with how your American dream has gone? Very much so. I might have found happiness had I remained in Boston, but I decided I wanted more than what a life there was going to be. Thanks to hard work and some good ideas, I have lived an incredible life as a printer, a businessman, a writer, a scientist, an inventor, a freedom fighter, and a statesman. You're still really famous in our time. We call you an American founding father, and your face is on the $100 bill. I got one last Christmas. And everyone knows about you flying your kite in the storm. Well, do they know that without Mr. Franklin, they would not even be an America? Is that true? Had I not secured assistance from France, there was not a chance that we would have defeated the British and won our independence. They provided money, supplies, troops, and naval support. My job here in France has been arguably as important as even General Washington's. Mr. Franklin, I know that you're a wonderful example of the American dream, but for the essay I have to write, I need to explain whether the American dream still exists in our time. But how could you know that? Let's see. Allow me to ask you a few questions. In your time, do people move to America from other countries? Yep, people move in from all over the world every year. Our next door neighbors are from the Philippines, and people across the street immigrated from Honduras. Can American citizens start and own their own businesses? Yeah, our dad started and owns his own business. Lots of people do. Is higher education and certifications required for success? No. Our mom went to college, but our dad didn't. They both have good jobs that they like. Are any Americans born with fancy titles like Duke, Duchess, Lord, or King? No, everyone is just born with the name they're given by their parents. No titles other than American. But Mr. Franklin, even though we don't have a nobility or monarchy, some people are born into better situations than others. Does that affect the American dream? Because every human is unique. The natural outcome from equal opportunity is unequal results. Even when treated equally, people don't always end up in the same place. That makes sense. People have different interests and personalities. Some will always have less, and some will always have more. What's special about America is that what matters is not where you come from, but where you're headed. Not who you have been, or what you have now, but what you can become. That is the American dream, and that leaves me with one final question for you. What type of behavior leads to success in your time? Working hard. Being nice to others. Making smart decisions. Having good ideas. It sounds like the American dream is alive and well. Thanks for your help, Mr. Franklin, and thanks for the work you've done over here in France. Goodbye, children. It's a tough job over here, but someone has to do it. Come on, ladies. Ooh la la, Mr. Franklin. If you are interested in time traveling again, please subscribe to PragerU.com slash kids and watch more of our adventures.
Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.